I am here first thing in the morning, way before school begins with our state championship, Division II ACADEC team. I wanted to come in, hello Alan. <laughs> I want to talk uh, for this week in reflection about their experience over the last two days. I'm going to ask Megan a little bit about that, ex that experience. Megan, the, over the last two days, what were some of the things that you were nervous about, excited about when it came to going to John Carroll for this competition? Um, I think the thing that we were all like most nervous about was definitely the speeches and the interview, which was on Friday night. And that was mainly because we have to go and give a prepared speech in front of a group of like three judges, and then you have a lot of the other students behind you listening. And so it was nerve-wracking to have to memorize it and have like points that you have to um, hit each time. And then after you did that, or before you did that, it depend on, depended on your times, you went to an interview, which you did again in front of three judges. And um, I mean, it was a basic interview, but the interview questions were still a bit weird, and it was nerve-wracking just trying to figure out how to answer and stuff like that. But then on the actual competition day on Saturday, I think none of our like nerves had definitely like settled down because that was more of the tests. But um, it was still kind of scary because it was just test after test. We went on for about a good couple hours having to take these. But overall, I think that we all did pretty well in the competition. Thank you. Now this team that's in this room, they consist of all different grade levels and they are on many different things. I want to talk to Kyle here for a second because he's going to be running to two different things in the next 10 minutes, both NHS and Model UN. How did you enjoy this experience? I think it provides a lot of great opportunities, like doing a mock interview before you actually have to do interviews, or things such as just learning how to talk in front of others is really just a great skill to have and it really um, it shows it helps me a lot excellent I want to go to Al Alan Hurd hardesty here Al talk about the importance of feeling a part of a big team here you all work together support each other when you grow up and you go out in the real world you're usually going to be working together in a big team a collaboration group of people so academic is a big opportunity to learn how to work together well with individuals that you may not know too well because in the real world that's how it's going to be. You're going to get paired together with complete strangers and your employer is going to expect you to work perfectly fine with them. Thank you so much. We have a guy over here who is carrying some bling. Not today. Five medals. Talk about these medals that you won. Uh, well, I got them in math, science, art, music, social science. Something like that. Um, it just based on your test scores, it was hard. Four hours of tests. Yeah. David <laughs> and Chad. David, talk about uh, the importance of academic and how you recommend this to students in the future. Uh, so I've been in four year. years. Yeah, this is my fourth year. Uh, I guess it just like really helps make the bonds between people in other grades in the school. So I've met a lot of great people through this uh, event, and it's been just a fantastic time in my high school career. So I suggest it to everybody who's looking for something to kind of help them break the bonds of uh, their class a little bit because it's fantastic. It really is. I close. Hey, I got an email yesterday. You guys don't know this yet that we are going to be representing Ohio at online nationals. Is that good? Yeah. 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 Kudos to you guys. So I have, uh, it won't be a speech or interview this time, just the straight up testing, all online. But we are the sole representative of Ohio in Division Two. So congratulations to you guys. The other thing is motivation. Uh, you have an opportunity to win a $250 scholarship. Uh, the, the, the person with the high score on the team. Now we know Kyle was the high score before, but there are six people who were within a thousand points of Kyle's score over eight events. That's uh, 125 points. So, not much. So, something to shoot for. Whip it over Kyle if I just didn't get it back made on my speech. <laughs> you to be? Okay. Mr. Turner, what makes this team here different than your teams in the past? Uh, I think it's really there uh, how broad these students are, and it's really a testament to our school. A lot of our medals have come in math. 
I'm not able to teach math very well, but we have such a strong math department that we've done well in the math testing. And uh, really, we, uh, uh, we have students who uh, have broad interests, and uh, our school kind of prepares them for that. And it really takes that, and it takes a lot of grit also uh, to compete well in academic. And I think that's what our students come out of Chardon with. Excellent. Everybody, I am so proud of you. I know this whole community is, both in our building and outside, who, who read this publication. Good luck as you work on this national test. And I'm looking forward to the future because I believe next year's topic is Africa. Yes. So congratulations, and you're on the news.